The bridge is really weird. Uh, it involves very strange counting, but the way that you should break it down is just to think of it in terms of some measures of three and measures of four sort of scrambled together. You're using the fifth and seventh frets, except for a little turnaround at the very end of it. It's really the fifth and seventh fret. There's one point in the middle where the guitar on the seventh fret power chord, they bend it up and release the bend. Here's how you count the whole bridge. One, two, That was two of them. You're going to do that three times. The bending in the middle, it's, uh, it, it's, I don't really know how to explain it. Uh, I hope you can see from what I'm playing here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. After you're done with three of those, you drop down to this. Remember that, that that pattern, it starts on the last eighth note of the previous measure. So the way you're, you're counting it is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's very hard to count this out loud and play it, so I'll leave it at that. I think I've explained it. You play that twice using just the three note power chord. And then the third and fourth times through, you add back what we did in the beginning, in the, very, in the introduction, and at the end of the lines in the verse, which is the fourth fret G string, the fifth fret B string, those two notes added on to the power chord, and it becomes... Getting ready to go into the ending. <laughs> 